Hello everyone, welcome to the Crystal Ratings podcast on the trends and developments in the Indian securitization market. In this podcast, we will cover the market volumes in securitization for the nine months of fiscal 24. Securitization here refers to both the pass-through certificates, that is PTCs, and direct assignments, that is DAs. Overall, securitization volumes continued on its upward momentum, surging around 20% on year to rupees 1.4 lakh crore in the first nine months of this fiscal. This is despite the exit of one of the largest housing finance company originators in the second quarter of the fiscal. In fact, if one were to adjust for this originator and consider only securitizations by other originators, the market grew by a whopping 40% on year. The growth momentum in securitization is expected to remain strong as NBFCs look to further diversify their resource mix, especially given the increased risk weight for banks' loan exposures to NBFCs. I will now delve into the market trends. Firstly, the participation demographic continued to be broad-based with number of originators crossing 135 as compared to 120 in the corresponding period last fiscal. In terms of investors, private banks dominated the market, accounting for 46% of volume, followed by public sector banks and foreign banks. Secondly, from an asset class perspective, vehicle loans cornered the biggest share at 41%, followed by mortgages at 20% and microfinance at 16%. Thirdly, in terms of securitization route, PTCs accounted for 54% of overall volume, with DAs comprising the rest. A notable market trend is the wider acceptance for innovative replenishing PTC structures. PTC transactions of over rupees 2,500 crore were structured with predefined replenishment periods, Herein, the collections from the underlying pool are used to purchase new loan assets instead of amortizing the PTC, thereby elongating the instrument duration to meet the tenor requirements of investors. Overall, the securitization market continues to expand with more originators and newer transaction structures finding wider acceptance. With this, we come to an end of this podcast. Thank you for listening in. Take care.